Hey everyone, it's Steve Harris with Muse Themes. This is the third video in our series on setting up hosting and domains. And what we're going to talk about here is how to buy a brand new domain name. So just to recap, the difference between a hosting account and a domain is the hosting account or the hosting server is where your website lives. It's where you place all of the files. The problem is it has no address. So what you need to do is you need to purchase a domain name and that's the name that you'll see up in the address bar and it usually starts with www and it can be .com or .ca or whatever. That's the actual domain or address that you need to point to your hosting server so that visitors on the web can find your site and your, your website appear and the files load and all of that sort of thing. So the domain and the hosting can be purchased separately and just linked up together. So it's really your choice on how you want to do that. Let's approach this scenario as we've launched this client site. They're happy with the design. We published it and, and launched the site live on Business Catalyst as I covered in my last video. And the next thing we want to do is buy a brand new domain name through godaddy.com and link it up. So one thing I'd recommend to start here is there's this great website called Lean Domain Search. And there's a ton of these websites around, but what this allows you to do is quickly get a glance of all of the available domains in your space for a keyword. So for example, if we wanted to target the keyword web design, we just type it in this box and click search. And what it does is it generates this huge list of domains that are all available at the time. And it throws in some words that you may not have thought of originally. So as you know, domains are quite picked over these days. So you can go ahead and put anything in here. We could put something like real estate. And we get a great sense of what's available out there on the web. And if you mouse over any of those these domains, or actually click on them, it checks to see if the domain, of course, is available or if the actual Twitter handle is available too. This is really nice because you probably want to get your social media accounts all linked up at the same time using the same name. So you can go ahead and click on any of these various buttons saying register now with any of the providers, but I'm going to show you from scratch. So I usually use GoDaddy to host my or to control my domains. And as you can see, when we arrive on the GoDaddy site, it says enter domain name. So I'm going to purchase the domain museexperts.com. So let's go museexperts.com and click search domain. As we know from the lean domain search site, this is actually available. So it says we can buy it here, it's $17.99, and you can actually buy a bundle where you'll get all of the other various extensions like .net or .info at the same time. So let's go ahead and just select this one, and we're gonna continue to our cart. Okay, so once we've gotten to our shopping cart, we have some various options here, just the same as we did with hosting. It says, protect my personal info as low as $8.99 for domain. So what this means is you can actually look up who owns a domain and of any website on the web, and it's called a who is lookup. I'll show you quickly how you do it. If you just search for who is, you can go to this site, who is search domain name. Um, there's a whole bunch of them out there on the web, but if we just go ahead and do that and we enter any name in there, let's just go ahead and do google.com. You can see that it says who's registered Google. It's Mark Monitor Inc. And there's all this info about the day it was registered and when it was updated and that sort of thing. So you can actually have a quick look at all of that. And you probably don't want your name and your address and everything appearing there. So that's what this protect my personal information is. I usually add the privacy and business protection on just so that users cannot obviously see who owns these domains. So once we've done that, we can select some options, whether we want to build, use this website builder and hosting. You're building a website in Muse, so you probably don't want to do that. Let's go ahead and we could add a hosting account in. This is a great way for you to do this all at once if you don't want to publish or host on Business Catalyst. But for the purpose of this demo, we've already hosted on BC, so let's skip that. And now you can add email to your domain. Many of your clients probably want an email address using their domain name, so it could be info at that domain. But for the sake of this demo, I'm going to leave this at no thanks as well. And we'll click Continue to Cart. So once you're happy with everything in the cart, and I'm just gonna remove this old hosting plan that I added to the cart there, we have our domain set up, and this term is set for five years. We probably don't wanna register for it for five years initially, so let's just go ahead and do it for two years, so it's not quite so expensive here. 
and we could just click proceed to checkout. Another thing that I mentioned in a previous video is there's always a promo code box for website hosts and I would certainly recommend you have a look. I bet you can always find one. So I'm going to go ahead and just proceed to checkout and enter payment info and purchase this domain. Check back in for our next video and I'll show you how to link this new domain up to our Business Catalyst hosting account. Thanks.